Hello, hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm gonna give it a minute for everybody to jump on. Yesterday I went live and the comments were not being my friend. So I'm hoping that today, there you guys are. When you guys jump on, can you just drop me a hi in the comments? I just wanna make sure that the comments are working before we get started. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. This is an impromptu live about something that I thought about last night. Hey from Barcelona, thanks Sandra. Hey, home from co home cooking by Magda. Okay, Magda, I need you to come cook in my house because I am the worst cook in the entire world. Um, hey, everybody, it's so good to see you all. I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Um, all right, hey, Jen, I just saw you pop up there. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. The reason why I wanted to pop on today is, I don't know if you recall, Perhaps if you've been on my page, you will have seen that Raquel Welch just recently launched their spring 2024 collection of wigs, okay? And I put together for in partnership with them a number of reels in anticipation for the launch. And in I think in all three of those reels, I was wearing a particular wig that got a ton of of attention. So although the stars of the show were to be the three new styles that they just launched, um, I got a ton of questions about the one particular style that I was wearing at the beginning of the unboxing of all three. So I wanted to hop on here today and go over it with you. It's not a new style, but first, um, hey Susan, you know what? I am, I'm I'm feeling a little bit better today. It feels like it's sort of settling in my in my chest. I'm hoping it isn't turning into bronchitis, but um, I'm gonna do my best. I have, I have my drink here if I need it when I talk, and as I talk, it kind of gets a little bit worse. So fingers crossed, it's okay today. Hey from Dubai. Um, anyways, I do, thank you, I do sound better. I hope I do. My voice seems a little bit shaky and I'm not sure what that's about. So what I did for you guys, I have two wigs that I wanna show you in addition to the one that I have on my head. If you've been watching me for a minute lately, you may recognize that this is Raquel Welch's brand new selfie mode. I made a very bold statement in saying that this is my all time favorite wig and it is without a doubt my all-time favorite wig. So if you guys comment link or links, L-I-N-K or L-I-K, L-I-N-K-S, I will send you the links for all three of the wigs that I'm sharing with you today, as well as the discount code, my discount code for you to use to save, okay? So this is not the reason why I jumped on to show you selfie mode. You may have been catching, I have been wearing it all over the place because I freaking love this. Yes, yeah, so drop the word link or links. That will work as well. I'll send you the link to selfie mode and to the two others that I'm gonna show you. So if you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen selfie mode, this is her, okay? Brand new wig from Raquel Welch Wigs. It's made out of their true to life heat defiant fiber. So it's not real hair. If you're new to wearing wigs, heat defiant fiber is a synthetic fiber that you can apply heat um, to heat style it. So you could straighten this, you could add waves. I personally would not fiddle with the wave pattern at all just because I personally love it. It has a full monofilament top, which means, so I'll get up close. Do you see the parting space? It's done so well. I have it parted in the middle just because I love a center part. But because of that full monofilament top, you can part it on the left, part it on the right. But why don't I do a quick turn? I got a little bit of heat, guys. From those of you that have been here for a long time, know that I do full re wig reviews, I do reels, I do lives like this. So sometimes when I'm on my lives, I forget to do a full turn when I'm showing wigs versus my full reviews, which you've come to know that I do obviously a full turn and show the whole wig. <coughs> so I can't forget, I'm gonna do a full turn today, okay? So this is selfie mode from, this is my left side and my back, I mean, it's quite long. It is, it, this to me is sort of my perfect long hair. 
I love it. Hold on. <coughs> I knew this was going to happen. Damn it. Um, hey from Wales. Um, Mullen, so you asked, what is my website? So I am not a wig retailer. My job here is to help all of you navigating your hair loss journey. Finding a reputable retailer is super important and I recommend wigsbypattyspearls.com. So comment link or links in the comments. The wigs that I'm sending you, I will send you the link to their website for all three that I'm showing, as well as my discount code that you can use to save, okay? Um, all right, so this is, let me just take a drink. Let me just take off selfie mode and show you guys the wig that got all the crazy attention. I guess it's not crazy, I understand. I understand what all the kerfuffle was about. So this is Raquel Welch and all three that I'm showing you today, guys are from Raquel Welch wigs, one of my favorite brand of wigs. This is unfiltered. It is not a new style. I made notes because I couldn't remember. This piece came out, this wig came out in 2020, so four years ago. It was actually spring of 2020. I remember when this piece came out, I wanted to get my hands on it so bad and it sold out like crazy beans. I love this piece. I think it's sort of this stacked, um, edgy wave to it and I love the length on this piece it's so incredibly wearable and this was the one that I was wearing at the beginning of money many of those unboxings of the new spring 2024 collection from Raquel Welch this is the wig that everybody's like I love the wig but what was that new one or that one that you had on before you were unboxing it so it has a full monofilament top, it has a lace front, runs all the way into the felt covered ear tabs, and then it's got wefted sides, back, and extended nape and Velcro adjusters. This is an average size cap, so I have a 22 inch circumference head, if you, which is on the higher end of average. If you have never measured your head, and you need a guide on how to do that, send me a DM, like I won't see it in here. So send me a DM after the live and I can send you a guide because that will always be your first step. If you're buying your very first wig, you wanna make sure that you measure first. Because unlike, I was talking to a lady the other day that's new to wearing wigs. Unlike, you know when you go to buy a brand new pair of jeans and they come in all the sizes, right? Not all wigs, come in petite, average, and large. I know that's frustrating. It's just the way that it is, okay? So sometimes you may have your heart set on an average sized cap piece that does not come in petite, but you have a petite cap head. I wanted to let you know that my friends at Wigs by Patty's Pearls offers a customization service where they can take a cap down by one cap size. So for example, you're a petite cap size, you want unfiltered, it only comes in average, you can order it through Wigs by Patty's Pearls and have them customize the size of the cap to fit your petite head, okay? All right, let me pop it on. Now, here's another thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about. I have had unfiltered this wig for a very long time, okay? So I think I've probably washed it a couple of times. I um, have certainly played around with the fiber. I've never styled it. Like I've never taken heat and changed the wave pattern or the curl pattern. But this, the reason why I wanna say this is that these styles tend to settle over time. So when you first get it out of the box, it may seem a little bit more voluminous. It The curls may be a little bit tighter than you're seeing here. The difference is not because I've styled it differently, not because it's a different wig, it's simply because I have had it for some time and it will settle, okay? So this is unfiltered and this color is called Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice. I checked beforehand. This wig comes in 34, 34 <laughs> different colors. So if shaded ice pumpkin spice is not your jam, not to worry, it comes in so many beautiful shades. So I'll do a turn so that you guys can see this piece. So what I love about it 
there's a lot of things. But what I love about it is number one, it's going to be staying off of your neck and off of your clothing. So you're going to have less friction points, which means that these fibers are going to stay looking and feeling great longer versus a piece, let me, hold on, versus a piece like my favorite wig, which is selfie mode, um, because there's a lot more friction points. This is going to take more care to take care of a piece that has more friction points than a piece like this that sits off of our shoulders, okay? All right, so here is my left-hand side, and then the back, and my right-hand side, and then back to the front. So this piece has, um, just like selfie mode, this piece has a full monofilament top. So I have it parted on the left, but you could part it on the center, you could part it on the right, whatever fits best for you. You could play around with the style. So I wanted to show this one to you guys because it got so much attention at the beginning of the reels from the launch of the new 2024 spring collection from Raquel Welch wigs. And I love this piece. So it weighs 3.75 ounces. The lengths on this, and sorry, I am referring to my notes. It's been a long time since I've reviewed this wig. Um, the front is 10 inches. So my face from hairline to chin is approximately seven, seven and a half inches. And then my neck is three, three and a half, okay? If you're new to wearing wigs and you're thinking, well, Erin, thanks, but why the heck are you telling me that? It's because to give you an indication of where these lengths and where the layers may fall on you. So for example, if you have a much lo longer face or longer neck than I do, then unfiltered may look a little bit shorter on you than she looks on me. Does that make sense? Okay, so the front, as I mentioned, is 10 inches. The crown, which is measured from here down, is nine inches. The back is seven and a half. Yes, the back is seven and a half. And then the nape is three and a half inches. So that's that shorter nape that's gonna stay off of your clothes. And, you know, I think this is a great piece for the spring and for the summer. And for those of you that, you know, don't want hair on your back or on your shoulders making you hot, this would be a great option for you, okay? So if you are just joining and you're interested in getting the direct links for any of these wigs that I'm showing you, just drop the word link or links in the comments. I will send you the link to all three that I'm showing you today, as well as my discount code for you guys to shop, okay? Let me see. Um, Danielle, so I don't have any other colors in Unfiltered. I used to have it in Shaded Biscuit, it's beautiful, but this style comes in 34 different colors. So if you comment link and follow those links that I send you, it will send you to my preferred retailer, which is wigsbypattiespearls.com, and it will show you all of the colors that it's available in, okay? Um, let me see if there's any other questions. I love this color too. I think it's really beautiful. Um, these videos are done with filters, makes them look much better in real life. You can tell they're fake. Okay, so Joe, it's really nice to hear from you. In fact, I have zero filter on right now. Thank you for your kind comment. I have no filter on. I have a ring light in front of me, absolutely, and my ring light is sitting in front of my window. If you'd like me to turn my camera around, I would be happy to do so. If I have a filter on, ladies, I will tell you. Or you can see it right underneath my name, right up there. When filters are on, that's where you can see where filters are on, okay? You may be new, Joe, and haven't quite got, got to know me yet. Um, what's the density of this wig? So, you know what, I wouldn't say that this is low density. I would say it's low to medium density. Um, and, you know, so there's, is there, I get this question a lot, is there any permatease? And I get why people ask that because permatease is kind of a four letter word for many people. And what permatease is, if you're new to wearing wigs, is they are short, coarse hairs that are applied along the wefting of a wig to help it give it volume, but also to reduce the number of wefting that is required on a cap, okay? So it's lighter and cooler because there is less wefting in it. 
So strategically placed permatees in the right places and in the right amount is not a bad thing. But I personally don't like big, voluminous, poofy hair. That's not my jam. It might be yours, and that's cool if it is. Um, I don't feel uncomfortable wearing unfiltered at all, okay? Great question. Thank you for asking. Um, hi, how can I get the links, please? Just, um, oh, so, I, uh, forgive me, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I see that you're from Le Lebanon. My friends at wigsbypattiespearls.com do ship internationally, okay? So let me see if there's any other questions before I share with you this next style. Came late, was it, oh, okay, Mike's mom. So you were asking uh, Mike's mom, I, I love your Instagram handle, that's amazing. Um, you were talking about selfie mode and this is shaded sand. So you may have seen that I also have it in shaded wheat. If you wanna see some pictures of it in shaded wheat, head over to my Instagram page. There's a lot there because I have been wearing it sort of nonstop. Okay, here's the next one that I wanted to show you because if you like unfiltered, let me hold it up. If you like unfiltered, you may also like flirt alert, okay? And I have flirt alert in the beautiful color shaded biscuit. This is probably one, not probably, it's one of my all time favorite blondes of all brands, but especially within Raquel Welch wigs. It is an absolutely gorgeous blonde shade. And so Flirt Alert, I don't, you know what? I didn't check to see when Flirt Alert came out. I can't remember if it was before unfiltered or after, it doesn't matter. But here's a few key differences. If you're looking at Flirt Alert versus unfiltered, number one is the cap construction. So on Flirt Alert, you have, you don't have a full monofilament top, you have a left-handed monofilament part. So anywhere that you part within this space, you're going to get an illusion of scalp. And then you have the lace front that runs all the way into the felt covered ear tabs and then wefted sides and back. It also has an extended nape, just like unfiltered does. And it also has the Velcro adjusters. They're both also average size caps, okay? So unfiltered weighs 3.75 ounces and Flirt Alert is just a little bit heavier at 4.5 ounces. I'll pop Flirt Alert on for you and talk about a couple of things. Number one, I would say from a style perspective, Flirt Alert is more, in my opinion, more traditional in its wave pattern versus Unfiltered is a little bit edgy, okay? So if you're into more of a traditional wave pattern, then you may want, I mean, both of them are great options, but you may personally prefer Flirt Alert if you like more of that fully completed, you know, wave here versus the unfiltered is just a little bit edgier. Do you see how they're not quite finished at the end? It's a little bit edgier in my opinion than Flirt Alert is, okay? So that's one of the other key differences. I will do a turn so I will, I can show you guys. But the other thing that I wanna share with you, when you look at Flirt Alert and the stock photos online, you may look at it and go, mm, that, does, that doesn't look like the one did on Aaron's head. And keep in mind that when stock photos are done and made for wigs, oftentimes those wigs are styled, okay? I haven't done anything to this piece. When you see the beautiful Raquel Welch wearing this wig in the stock photo, it is more voluminous than you're seeing here, okay? And I could achieve that if I wanted with Flirt Alert, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm more of a, tamed down type of a girl, okay? But if you like volume, you could absolutely get it in this style, okay? So here is my left-hand side. I just think the wave pattern is so darn cute and it's a similar length, right, to unfiltered. Um, and then here is the back and it's also made in my, in my right-hand side. So this is just as the other previous two that I showed you. This is made from Raquel Welch's True to Life 
heat defiant fibers. And this one is shaded biscuit, as I mentioned. So the lengths on this one, the front sections here are eight and a half inches. So if I was to straighten this out, that makes sense, right? Because my face is what, seven, seven and a half. So that makes sense. This one probably needs to get washed. I have, I don't think I've washed this one and I've worn it a lot. Here's a tip for you guys. If you're new to wearing wigs, wash your wigs as little as possible. I know that sounds gross, right? But washing, you don't need to wash your wigs at the same frequency as you would wash your own bio hair because you don't have that oil production from your scalp directly onto the hair shaft. So the more you wash a wig, the more the fibers will start to wear and wear down. So that's why washing it as little as possible is ideal, okay? So as I mentioned, these front sections are eight and a half. The crown is 10 inches, the back is seven, and the nape is a half an inch longer than unfiltered was at four inches. And it's just a touch, it has a touch more weight to it at 4.5 ounces. Okay, so I would love to hear from you guys. Like, do you have a preference? I mean, they're very similar, aren't they? I think they're beautiful. I think they're both beautiful options. I think they're great for the spring and for the summer if you want a short, cute style. Um, I just like, I love the wave pattern on Flirt Alert. To be very honest with you, when I first got Flirt Alert or just before I got Flirt Alert, I was a little bit hesitant only because of the stock photo. As I mentioned, I don't like big voluminous hair. It's not really my thing. And it's styled that way in the stock photo. I'm glad I didn't allow it to deter me because um, it is a really great style. The other one that I don't have here that's quite similar that I thought maybe I should mention is if you've never seen, if you like this general style, um, but you like more volume and perhaps a shorter fringe at the front, then check out Raquel Welch's Editor's Pick. That is a classic, a classic, beautiful style. So, you know, Editor's Pick, I get asked a lot about wigs with bangs. And although Editor's Pick, you know, I wear Editor's Pick with the bangs sort of pushed off to the side, but you could absolutely pull them forward and have you know, if the bang section were, was a little bit too long for you, you could absolutely get it trimmed. Um, so that's another great option as well. Came on late. What was, oh, shaded sand or shaded wheat. I already got that one. Okay, what other questions do you guys have? Um, let me just see. Sorry, guys, hold on one second. Any wigs with bangs? Okay, Jodester, I didn't even see that comment when I just referenced editor's pick um, with that sort of side swept bang. Um, I don't have any today with traditional bangs, um, but stay tuned or check out my page. I do have a few that I wear uh, with bangs. I'm just personally not a bang girl. Um, what is the name of this color? Okay, so Connie, this is Shaded Biscuit, okay? This is Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice, okay? And then Selfie Mode that I had at the beginning, this is Shaded Sand. I love Shaded Sand. Um, okay, what other questions do you have? Hey from Australia, good to see you. Hey from Brazil. Hey from Germany. Um, hi from Black Forest, I don't even know where that is. Hey from Utah. Um, the link went to St. Make, what? The link went to Saint Makeup website. Okay, Kelly, um, let me know if that is the case. Kelly, can you send me, I am I am certain I sent it, anyways. Let me check that afterwards. Kelly, can you do me a favor? Can you send me a DM after the live and I'll make sure that I get you the direct links, okay? Um, love Flirt Alert and you have it in Shaded Biscuit too. Can you dance, play, and run with a wig? Absolutely, you can. Flirt Alert is super soft, love the fibers. Home Cooking by Magda. Yes, it is beautiful. Now, what I would say to you is this is not as soft as when I first got it. But as I mentioned, I have not, I don't think I've washed this piece. 
um, and I haven't applied heat to it. So I could do that to help out even further. Um, where was that question? Can you dance, play, and run with a wig? All right, I'm gonna do something and we're gonna see how this goes, okay? So many of you know I wear a hair grip underneath my wigs. I don't use adhesive, I don't use tape. I use a product called the Hair Grip. The link is in my bio link, as is my discount code to save you. I think it's 20% off. It's Real Wig Fun 20. Okay, so I'm not feeling good today, so we'll see how well this goes. <laughs> okay, so my hair looks crazy, just like your bio hair would if you were to do that. But my wig is not going anywhere, ladies. How nuts did I, I'm gonna look back at that ladies and go, why the heck did I do that? <laughs> so if you don't believe me that the hair grip will keep your wig on, there you go, okay? Um, let me see if there's any other questions. Can you show wigs with brown hair? I absolutely do. Um, I don't have any with me right now. They're in my wig room, um, but stay tuned on my page. I absolutely, I show a whole bunch of different colors. What does heat tolerant mean, curling iron or no? So heat tolerant, heat defiant, true to life heat defiant fiber, what that means is that you can apply low heat. And many different brands produce wigs in heat defiant fibers like we're talking about. Each manufacturer will have slightly differing directions on the max heat that you can apply to the fiber. So you, tip number one is always follow the manufacturer's instructions on the max heat temperature that you can use. So yes, you could use a curling iron on it, You only if your curling iron has a temperature control that you can monitor and keep that heat below the manufacturer's instructions. The other thing that I would recommend to you as well is prior to applying heat to your heat defiant fibers, um, you wanna use a, heat, a good heat protectant. I personally love um, Harry Wears Restore. So I like that product because it's a three in one. You can use it as a heat protectant, you can use it as a daily detangler, and you can also use it as a conditioner. So you can also find that at wigsbypattiespearls.com under, I think it's under accessories as well, okay? Is unfiltered shorter than Flirt Alert? So the lengths are a little bit different. So on unfiltered, the front section here is a little bit longer than, than Flirt Alert, okay? The crown on Flirt Alert is a little bit longer. So you get more of a bit of a stack with unfiltered because this crown length is about an inch shorter. So it's generally the same length. The nape on Flirt Alert, this one, is half an inch longer. So all over, it's generally a very similar length. Where you see some of the differences is in some of the different layers that make up the style, right? So the, the differing layers on Flirt Alert, being this one, is more traditional in style as far as a traditional bob versus the layers on Unfiltered, as I mentioned, are just a little bit edgier, okay? I hope that helps. Um, Kimby says, I can do all the activities in a wig. I choose to not do, <laughs> I choose to not do a workout in them. Well, that's amazing, Kimby's. I choose to not work out in my wigs either. The problem is I don't work out without them on either. <laughs> so maybe that's something I'll deal with in 2024. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. I've had unfiltered. To, oh, you've added unfiltered. Kimby's, you've added unfiltered to your wish list now. That's amazing. Um, you're welcome. You know what? I thought the comparison would be helpful because they're very similar in style. Really what prompted it, me hopping on here today, was the reaction that I got from all of you about Unfiltered in my unboxing for the new spring uh, collection from Raquel Welch because so many people were asking me about it. So uh, let me just make sure I haven't missed any. Is it possible to send? Is it? Okay, so Sandra's question was, is it possible to send it back? And all reputable retail, most reputable, well, let me, let me rephrase that. Any reputable retailer that you shop at should have a very well disclosed and clear return policy listed on their website, okay? As a consumer, you should always familiarize yourself 
with that return policy and what you can and cannot do with the wig. So the answer is yes, you can return them so long as you are staying within the guidelines of their return policy. So I, not too long ago, maybe it was last week, I actually posted the return policy for wigs by pattyspearls.com, very consistent with other reputable retailers as well. Um, but yes, please familiarize yourself that before you ever purchase a wig, because that way you know what you can and can't do when you get it home in the event it's not right for you. Okay, great question. If I have long and thick hair, okay, I have long and thick hair, so would you recommend a hair cap versus a hair grip? Um, C. Palin 017, you can absolutely get away with using um, a hair grip like I have on here. The key will be how you choose to tie up your hair. So I have very thin, hold on one second. I'll show you guys. Guys, I'm fading a little bit. Can you hear it? <laughs> Oh boy, this cold is knocking me on my arse. Okay, so I have very thin bio hair and I tie my hair up in this little clip here, okay? So I'll get to your point in a second. So I just take my hair back and I twist it and then I clip it in the back like that, okay? So if I had thick bio hair, what I would do is I would part my hair in the middle all the way down. I would make two braids here and then I would pin them up like this. Your goal is to get the hair, your bio hair, as flat to your head as possible. And you know what, I'm glad that you asked this question because I get a lot of questions like that from women that have never worn wigs that have full heads of hair that would love to wear alternative hair and they say but Erin can I wear a wig because I have a full head of hair I guess the answer to that question is turn on the tv open a magazine uh, w go to the movie theater and watch all of those celebrities or actresses online or in the movies that we all watch because a lot of those women are wearing wigs so and it doesn't mean that they are suffering from hair loss they are certainly playing a part. Um, they are playing a part, but it is absolutely possible to wear wigs. It is not only for women that are suffering from complete hair loss or going through medical treatment. Um, if you're new to this page, the reason why, whew, the reason why I wear wigs is I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 18. I'll be 49 next month and both the disease and more the medicine that I'm on and the surgeries that I have had um, cause significant stress to my hair and causes hair thinning and hair loss. So I have hair, you saw it. It's incredibly thin and fine. It's not necessarily isolated to a particular area versus all over thinning. So that's why I wear wigs, okay? Um, Okay, you can, oh, okay, Sharp Laura, I'm going to leave that one for the others to read. I'm glad to hear that. I have not, just, just saying. Um, are these natural or synthetic hair? So the three that I've just shown you today, all three are heat defiant synthetic fiber wigs, meaning it's not human hair, okay? Um, okay, even when I wear a hat, my head gets hot and itchy. How about the wigs? Okay, so you know what? Everybody has different heat tolerances. Everybody has different um, head sensitivity or scalp sensitivity, I should say. So certainly getting used to wearing a wig takes some time. Some wigs feel hotter than others. Certainly a longer piece like this is going to be warmer than a shorter piece that's off of my shoulders and off of my neck. You know, when I'm in the sum in the summertime when it's super hot, um, I would tie a piece up like this. So I would, you know, put it in a ponytail like that to get it off my neck to help keep me cool. But there is an adjustment period when you first start wearing wigs and how it feels on you. Okay, great question. Thank you for that. Let me see if there's any others. 
I really love unfiltered. I might have to buy it. Home cooking by Magda. Yes, it is gorgeous. All right, ladies. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed taking a quick look at unfiltered, flirt alert, and then of course, you know, my brand new favorite wig, Selfie Mode by Raquel Welch. So anyways, comment link below. I will send you the link to all three of these styles as well as the discount code to save. Okay. Have a great day, everybody.